There's a look at Stacy Kohut right there. His best time ever here on A-line at 5.50. So 5.50 is what he is looking to beat here. It's almost like some of these kids have gotten soft a little bit. Then again, when I broke myself in 92, the people that were like 10 years older than me, some of them were in Vietnam. Some of them like rolled their card 10 times when they were 17. So there was never any sympathy for me. Oh, the poor kid that fell off the swing said, oh. Oh, that love we shared together. All those good times. Well, I got lucky because like BMX helps with like bike control, motocross helps with high end speed, skateboarding helps with reading trannies and popping off things. So all those years of playing hockey and getting pushed around in the corner and learning how to be tough and stand up for yourself, that's paying off now. So I know this sounds a little bit spooky or a little bit, or a little bit weird, but it's almost like my whole life I was training to ride this thing and I just didn't know it. We had it all, every moment was painted in gold. We I don't need any support once I get to the hill. I'm completely independent and I'm doing my thing, but I do need a team of people behind me to help me get to where I need to be to be that independent. So I take a lot of pride in the fact that my posse, my crew, my, my group of friends that help me go and get the job done, they know that their job's done once the bike's loaded up. Primary is me being here as a racer regardless of what I'm riding. I could be riding a pink tricycle down the freaking hill for all I care. I have a responsibility as a person who's in a wheelchair with a quote unquote disability to go out there and lay down the hardest run I can and show the world that it's not all fluff and it's not all feel good stories so that people don't always get the impression that every time a four wheeler goes out or every time someone who has a little situation on their hands goes out to get the job done, they don't need all that help and all that kind of like babysitting. I know that's a harsh word, but. There's a look at Stacy Kohut right there. His best time ever here on A-Line at 5.50. So 5.50 is what he is looking to beat here. This guy's out there first thing in the morning. If they're opening the lift line early, he's <laughs> out there doing laps. Some people you think that maybe that when Crankworks come to town, wants to back away from it, but not the way Stacy Kohut is. He's all about it right here. He's been in every single A-line. You see him get in those strokes right there. 
keep that speed going, trying to beat a 5-5-0. Here he comes right now, Stacy Gohut. He's going to be sending it right down, down the GLC. The time in for him. Look at this. I think he's going to do his all-time best. Stacy Gohut, yes, he has done it. 5.46.33, he has beat his best time ever. Give it up for Stacy Gohut right there. That's some solid stuff. So, that's my motivation and, and that and putting on a show. Um, I want people to, to think I look good and I ride good and I want to prove to people that people on four wheels can do whatever they want and they can shred. And it's not a cliche and it's not a, a, a cheesy statement, but it's the truth. We can do whatever we want. Just give us a chance to show you. I got a picture of me sitting on the swing set that did me in one year anniversary. Just cause why not, right? Just get it over with. I think sometimes if you show people that you're dealing with it or dealt with it, then it lets them go, okay, I can move on.